Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here, not for another shave video, how are you? <laughs> I hope everyone's well, I, I just don't have enough growth to shave today. Tomorrow morning though, I will shave and it's with one blade core replacement. I've, I've got a replacement razor and I can already tell you my initial impressions just on, you know, the build quality of this replacement razor. You hear that? The blade wiggling around? Isn't that awesome and give you a load of confidence? Let's move on. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I wanted to do a top five shaving soaps video because I, I, I don't even, I don't think I've done one. I've done uh, razors and brushes, I think. I don't think I've done soaps. So what I'm basing this on is, well I just said it, the soap base. So not necessarily the scents. The main priority for me is performance. So that actual soap base. So you got slickness, you've got like density. Some of them feel really light on the face. Generally those are the vegan soaps. And then tallows tend to be a bit heavier and denser and that's what I really, really go for. Slickness, yeah, the cushion, the glide, and post shave feel. Post shave feel is quite important. Um, not as much with most people if you're using a lot of post shave products, you know, witch hazel and aftershave and then a balm. But I normally either just use a balm or a splash afterwards. It's about it. So uh, I do like a good post shave soap. So I've got five here and one that was really close to making it on top of my list. And I'll probably just do that one first now. That is Grooming Department Mallard. This is really close. I think this is a couple of formulations behind the newest one so if i tried the newest one it might go a little bit up on the list stunning scent really really good so not not top five for scents for me but it's, it's really good scent i know chris would love this soap number five this is a brilliant soap base it's really dense it's very silky so your passes that you're making, the slickness is fantastic on this soap. Smoke on the water, canard formula. So if, where have we got ingredients? Do we have ingredients? Yes, we do. So if you want to pause there, read the ingredients. So this is smoke on the water. I've got the full set of this. Oh, when I first got this, I was the same as Chris at another cut above. I wasn't a big fan. The more I smell it, the more I like it. It's really, really nice. I love the scent of this. Really, really top stuff. That is my number five. Number four is actually just come out of nowhere with this one. It, the formula's always been really good. Then a new formula has now come out. Formula four. And it's just absolutely been so kick-ass for me. It explodes in the bowl. It's a brilliant bowl soap. It's my go-to for that. Wild West Shaving Company, Aces and Eights. The fantastic man, Russell Barton. You're a genius, mate. This stuff is beautiful. Really, really good. Is He's only pretty new to this, man. This is already right up there. It's just awesome. These sprays are beautiful as well fantastic soaps really dense all you need to know is that the top ingredient in this is tallow sold <laughs> sold already that's a fantastic soap i love that third this was probably my favorite oh maybe two three months ago this was my favorite all-round performing soap Eufros. i am Definitely up for some purchases of Eufrost. So if you've got any full set of Eufrost, or if you've got the Fougere Balm, if you want to sell that, I am open to trades, I'm open to sales, anything like that. If you've got Eufrost sets, hit me up. I, I do uh, want to email the owner and try to buy some sets as well. This stuff is insane. That is the ingredients list on the back. I love this soap and I love metal tins. I know a majority don't like metal tins. I love them. Don't know why, just love them. Especially the Eufrost ones. They're just gorgeous, stunning tins. Fantastic. Definitely takes podium spot at three. Number two. 
I am so proud to say that my number two is an Aussie artisan and it's no other than Australian Private Reserve. This is the Cooler Bar scent, probably my favourite. Dan has done an amazing job at boosting the scent and quite a bit of menthol, but the menthol does not affect the scent whatsoever and that is very, very hard to do. That's why normally a lot of artisans, whenever they do like a big menthol, they just go pure mint because that's sort of goes really well with it. But if you try and do a Colony scent, this is based on Creed Aventus to try and match that with the menthol content, just beautiful in the splash. Oh, this stuff puts a grin on my face just looking at it. Awesome. Dan over at Australian Private Reserve, fantastic guy. You can buy his stuff, you know, all over the world. Absolutely fantastic. Check him out. I recommend all of his soaps. Number one. <laughs> I, I think you could probably see this coming, guys. Uh, you see this on Chris and my channel, that it's just nothing is slicker. There, it's on a completely different level. There is nothing that even comes close. Even Australian Private Reserve is just left for dead for the slickness of, holy cow, premium shaving soap. This is with donkey milk. And the ingredients, oh, I'm so sorry. They are very tiny writing, so. Oh, king of ood. Just, <laughs> these soaps are insane. I'm too scared to use my 30 mil on this because I don't want to see it disappear so quick. So I'll probably just use like little synthetics and stuff like that on this. Fantastic, takes out my number one, holy cow. So we'll just go through, again, runner up, grooming department. This formula is sick. It's really, really good stuff. All of these are premium quality. So you don't have to go, oh, which one, you know, don't just pick number one. Because some people may go, oh, it reacts to my skin, or some people may find others slicker. Like I know there's a massive following for Oleo Soapworks, that canard formula. Absolutely, it, it's with reason. It's a fantastic base, but I just find there are better ones out there for me. So that's the runner up. Number five, Oleo Soapworks canard formula. Number four, four? Yes, four. Wild West Shaving Company, formula number four. God, this four is gonna trip me out. Number three, Eufros. If you guys have any, hit me up, please. <laughs> willing to buy, willing to trade. Number two, Australian Private Reserve, Cooler Bar. Fantastic. Number one, holy cow. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys in the shave tomorrow where I'm going to be using the one blade and I'll have my little rant about that in there. <laughs> going to be a fun one. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, take care of yourselves. Keep smiling. Stay positive. Catch you guys in the next video. See ya.